Hey boos, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tilia, and if you can tell by the title, today we'll be doing a Get Ready With Me video, so let's hop right in. So the first thing we're going to do is use the primers that I always use, the e.l.f. primer. Um, I literally use this in all my videos, and I love it, so I just put it everywhere on my face because it's very luminous, and it does make the foundation look very, very shiny sometimes, just depends on what kind of foundation, but yeah, so this is the primer that I use. And next I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Auburn. I am going to start using a lighter eyebrow shade when I do like makeup looks. Some, just sometimes just depends because if the eyebrow is too dark um, it will overpower the look and make my face look angry and stuff like that. So I decided to go just like a shade a shade or two lighter than my hair color because it's very dark so I don't want it to ever power it so I try to get a color that's closer to the brows and as you can see it's a little bit lighter than my hair so I feel like it looks way better After that is done, I'm going to be taking this concealer brush and dipping it into just some regular old concealer. And I'm going to be um, shaping and sculpting out my brows. I'm just going to clean them up. I do this every time I do my makeup just because it makes it look better. And the concealer from under the brows also serves as a base for the eyeshadow when that comes to that time. So I just want to do that. And also while I'm talking in this video, while I'm doing this, I just want to acknowledge something that came to my attention. A fellow YouTuber that I know tried to think that I am mocking her or want to be like her but um no so if you're watching this and you get to this point i hate you and i want to be like you so stop saying it and i don't know i condone bullying but this has just got way too far she's getting way too cocky way too comfortable and it's really annoying if you if you know who she is you can comment her name in the comment section i don't care but you need to stop being so cocky like i really don't like you so Let's get back to the brows, shall we? So moving on to foundation. So we have the Believe Beauty Foundation. I cannot remember which shade I used, but yeah, so I literally got this foundation for $4.50 at the dollar store. I'm not afraid to say it. Y'all, some of y'all are like, man, drugstore foundations suck. Like, no, boo, this one does not, and it's very amazing. Um, I did not pick it up on purpose. Oh my god, my eyebrows kind of looking even. Anyway, so I am mixing it with the lighter shade of CoverGirl foundation just because um, I don't want to be looking as tan today. But so that's the foundation I use. I love it. I don't know why I'm making these ugly faces, but excuse that. But you see, it just it's amazing, and I think it goes really well with this primer. But the Believe Beauty, I do believe that they have so much more stuff now. They have a lot of like baked blushes, kind of remind me of like, you know, AOA Studios, Chapman's A, and all that stuff. So y'all should definitely go check out this Believe Beauty at your local Dollar General.
Now for the concealer, we will just be using a 16 hour um, cover girl, no, 16 hour elf or whatever kind of hour elf primer. Um, I like, not primer, what am I talking about? Concealer, oh my gosh. And I'd like to get it in a lighter shade, so there's that. And the reason why, if you ask, I like to do it in a lighter shade is because I just like a very bright under eye or I like it really bright in all the highlighted spots like the T-zone and forehead chin under the eyes. I just want it all to be bright so it'll stand out, make your eyes pop more, make your eyes try to look more like the pigment and the color stand out more when your under eye is brighter. And I also like to use a brighter setting powder, so you'll see that as well. But this one, this concealer sets kind of fast on me, I notice, or I don't know if I just bought raw water or something. But it is amazing. I do love it. I just wish it didn't set as fast. So I do tend to work at it like on one spot at a time, if you can tell, if you're wondering why I'm using it like that. Next, my favorite part of makeup is going in with contour and bronzer. Yeah, from the Morphe 8L Lo Fi palette, I'm going to be using all three shades both um, contour and the bronzer shade. I like to just pat it on there. I feel like patting in makeup makes it so much better. You get such a softer look. I did with my eyeshadow as well, blush and highlight, like literally everything. So, I like this. It's really amazing. I really do recommend it, even though I'm pretty sure most of you guys already have it. But if you don't have it, go out and get it. So, yeah. It also has four highlighting shades, uh, a bronzer, two contours, and a setting powder shade. So, it's really, you know, three in one. It's really great. So now I'm taking my Wet n Wild Banana Powder. Um, I forgot to show you what it looks like, but I'll show you soon. And I'm just going to be patting it under the eyes, setting it in places where it needs to be set at. And now I'm going to take the same contour and bronzer shade I use. I'm going to take a, uh, a brush like this and just swipe it on the sides of my nose. This is how I contour my nose. I don't really go crazy and do a lot, but I feel like this is the best way for me. And it makes it look just how I like it. So... I'm taking that across there and then I'm just setting the setting powder, you know, kind of form it the shape, form the shape above the nose a little bit. For the eyeshadow, sis, you won't believe it. I got this sultry palette from Walmart. It came with this brush. And I don't know how it is. I've used it a little bit. Played around with a few of the shades. Just swatching it on my eye. And so far, it's good. But everyone is having all the hype over this. And I feel like I haven't really seen any good reviews on it. So, I'm going to do a review on it today. So, um, I'm going to be going in with these shades right here. Kind of like the warm shades. And then some glitter on the eye and y'all this eyeshadow look is so quick and easy i literally do this technique with all my eyeshadow palettes every day almost every day this is like the only stuff i do i normally do like cut creases and all that stuff but like literally i put just a shade like you know in the crease and i blend it up to the brow and then a shade kind of like in the corner where it's dark give a little bit of definition and then literally a shimmer shade on top of the whole thing and it looks like i took hours not even hours a day to do it so i think that the technique i'm using as you watch you will see that it is very unique very helpful so i'll zoom on in and i'm gonna be quiet so you can watch this
So now I'm just going to uh, shake my head. And as you see, it looks so nice. It was so fast, so simple, so easy. And I'm going to take a little brush like this from Morphe and dip into a lighter shade and the shade up on the lid. And I'm going to put it in the inner corner. Now it is time to wipe away all this powder and get to going on the rest of the face. This powder leaves my face looking so smooth, so nice. Like, look at it. So, I'm just going to be going a little bit over the bronzer because I feel like when I wipe off powder like that, it tends to wipe off the bronzer. I don't know why I feel like that, but I like to go over it a second time and make sure it's like there, you know? Like, you know I'm snatched. Like, you got to see it. The results got to see it, baby. And now, the most second most important part of makeup, the blush. I love this blush from Milani. It is my favorite blush in the freaking world. Um, I've been using it for like almost two years, I think, maybe, I don't even know, but I'm going to use it for the rest of my life, so it doesn't really matter how long I've been using it, but I like to put it on my cheeks, on my nose, on my forehead, and y'all, this blush is so subtle. I just love, like rosy blushes it don't matter what color skin you have it will always look good always look natural i just like to look like you know blushing you know that's what blush is for and i think this is the perfect blush for the job so now i'm going to be going in with my morphe setting spray and i'm literally going to soak my face i really want this to just you know all sit in and be so nice and look shiny honey and i'm applying mascara to both lashes and honestly i don't even want to put on fake eyelashes but i did anyways but here is what the final and complete looks look looks like we're gonna just go ahead and jump into it because i'm getting kind of sleepy and i'm kind of tired of talking so let's um jump right to the finished look Oh my gosh, who is that? Oh, that's me, girl. Yes, finished look. Got my lashes on. Got some highlight on. Put on some Victoria's Secret lipstick and popping girls. So, thank y'all for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and like and share. Until next time, XOXO.